Yeah, man, what's up, man? Real quick, NBA, NBA. Uh, we're going to talk about prize picks and the books real fast. Um, I did a little live last night. It was, you know, we chopped it up. That was more of, that's, that was more about chopping it up. Either way it go, uh, this Los Angeles Clippers team and uh, Dallas Mavericks is the first game on the docket there. Uh, a lot to like about this game. I'll talk about this game as a whole. Um, I, I, I'd imagine it's a lot to like about this game, but like I said, I'll talk about this game as a whole. First thing first, I did uh, throw a little shot at uh, – I threw a little shot at um, Terrence Mann, and I got this at a, bet, a, a lower number than this. It still was plus money. I was at plus 120. Uh, I just took a shot at it, man. No, you know, uh, you know, it's just low enough. He is playing the point guard there. Uh, so we'll see. We will see if he's going to end up playing the point guard still. Uh, uh, he, he did hit this number um, one, two, three, four out of his last five games. Uh, of course, Paul George is back, and I'm like uh, Paul George. I think he should be the point guard. You know, tell you the truth, uh, like I was saying last night, uh, I just I, I really do think he should be the point guard. He just had twelve. Uh, granted, it was against the Spurs, but he just had twelve assists. I think uh, this team would be a little bit more better if he ran it. You know, they can still start Terrence Mann for defensive purposes or whatever the case may be, but I think Paul George would be better off running the point guard. Uh, if and 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 it's things like that just don't happen. Uh, they probably won't go out there and announce it, but uh, his rebound, I mean, his assist prop is sitting at five and a half, which is kind of interesting. I don't know what it is on prize picks. Uh, let's take a look at five. So it is what it is. Now, uh, speaking of Paul George, uh, I like Paul George today. Uh, I like his points. Uh, don't come out there with that old man slow shit today, Paul George. So uh, I like his points. Uh, you get a discount from him and uh, Paul George. I mean, uh, him and Kawhi Leonard at 20 and a half. Uh, PRAs, he's averaging a little bit more than uh, PRAs than what they got him sit at, uh, 31 and a half. Uh, he's averaging, uh, how many PRAs is Paul George averaging? He is averaging um, 30. 34 and a half. So this is an okay number here. And if you go think he goes out there and does a lot, I'm definitely waiting for his uh, his fantasy score, okay? Because uh, with a low number like that, I mean, uh, with a low number like that, uh, you might want to go stick with his uh, PRAs. This is a p pace down matchup, but 31 p uh, PRAs, he can go out there and get 25, 26 points, you know what I'm saying, and try to scrape up the rest of them in rebounds and assists. These, neither one of these teams are good rebounding teams, if you ask me. Uh, Zubak, man, Zubak, uh, I can't talk about his numbers, but he hasn't had double-digit rebounds only once in his last five games versus his Versus his team. Luka Doncic's numbers are just solely in play. You don't need me to talk about that. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie. Spencer Dinwiddie should see elevated usage in the absence of Christian Wood. So uh, I, I expect the start lineup to be something like Powell, Luka, Dorian Finney-Smith, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Spencer Dinwiddie. I got my interest in this point prop. I mean, how can I not? Uh, so I mean, how can I not? Uh, uh, the usage should be there for, for uh, Spencer Dinwiddie there uh, at the guard position. So they'll definitely need him to step up. So uh, there you have that. Um, what else do I have here? Um, uh, live betting, power. You know, we got to keep an eye on power, man. Power is going to get his minutes at the two and the three. Uh, so live betting purposes, uh, he, he did light this team up. Uh, his three ball is working right now, okay? His three ball is in play. Um, but my betting folks, a uh, couple trends I was looking at. Uh, the Clippers, the over is 13-3 and three in the last 16 road games. Uh, but, you know, uh, yeah, guys like Paul George and uh, Kawhi Leonard in and out of the lineup. Uh, so I imagine both of these guys will play today. Uh, the Clippers, they 5-1 against the spread last five games in Dallas, okay? Uh, Dallas, a uh, couple trends here. Uh, the over is 4-1 in, in, uh, in the last four games uh, following an ATS win. And uh, a fun trend here with Dallas, the over is 4-0 uh, in the last four games, in the last four Sunday games, okay? Interesting, interesting, interesting. A lot to like about this, but you know, a lot of shit don't pan out the way we want it to. 
we already know that, okay? Uh, if everybody plays for this uh, Clippers team, we should be a big should see a big Clippers team out there today. So uh, we'll see. We will see. I expect I'll have to look at the team total because something telling me this Clippers team is going to put up some points here. Uh, what's the what's the uh, what's the uh, what is it? Two twenty three over under. We'll see. We'll see. There's some of those trends lean towards the over too. So we'll see. All right. Um, next game we're going to talk about here is going to be the. New Orleans Pelicans and Miami Heat. I don't really have much. I'm not going to go into convulsions about this game. 218 and a half over under. Lowry. Who is Lowry now? I don't even know him no more. Uh, he's went over his under his assist prop in quite some time. What is it right now? A, a bunch of games. He, he's probably sitting at three and a half now. Uh, let's see. Four and a half. And he's been going under that like a month, but it is what it is. These teams just played uh, now. Uh, the three ball, you know, this uh, this this um, Miami team will give up the three ball. The last time these two teams did, they just played a couple games ago. Uh, they just played a couple games ago, and uh, CJ did give them uh, five threes that game. Uh, Miami, uh, uh, as a team, uh, giving up the third most threes as a team. And uh, to the shooting guard and point guard position, I believe that's the most, uh, that's the area where they give up the most threes at. So, uh, talking about points, um, I mean, threes. Um, Brooklyn Nets give up the most threes to the shooting guard position, and they give up the... They give up... They bottom thirds. No. Oh, no, 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 no. The point guard position, uh, they are third. So, CJ is right there in the point guard and the shooting guard position, okay? Uh, Bam had an okay game. Um, then you had uh, Jonas Valanciunas had a double-double, so you can't take you guys... I can't talk you guys off of neither one of them. TJ McCollum, his three-point prop is going to come out at, uh, let's see, three and a half. So it's a picky poison type of play here. If you want to go to his points, I'm fine with that. If you want to go to his threes, I'm fine with that also. I'm undecided right now. All right, uh, Jimmy Butler, I just don't want nothing to do with him. I haven't been looking at him. I've been doing good without him. Tyler Hero, Tyler Hero, three balls in his play. All right? He hasn't been playing that good as of late. Uh, one of these games, he's going to pop off. Uh, you get two and a half threes at plus uh, at, at minus 122. Uh, live betting purposes, you can look at somebody like uh, Victor Oladipo. He's been coming in and playing some good ball. Uh, and, you know, those are some looks that I'm looking at. Nothing official there. Uh, probably might might use some of these guys to get me a bankroll builder out of there, but uh, nothing official here in this spot here in this you know in this game. Um, New York Knicks at Toronto Raptors two twenty two over under in this spot. Uh, it's, uh yeah, look, uh, these two coaches right here, you got Nurse and you got uh Thibodeau. They love to lead their guys out there for a long time. Uh, these guys are averaging upwards of thirty five minutes plus. Keep an eye out for the injury spots for uh. Fred Van Vliet should probably come back today. Let's check underdog. If you're not following these guys, I don't know what to tell you. You've got to be following these guys. Uh, this is where, you know, this is the, you know, this is, you know, this is, you know, the Alpha Omega. You got to start right here. All right. Uh, so follow these guys. Turn your uh, notifications on for them. Uh, injury news is not out right now. So, uh, like I said, um, it was a front end and back to back. So, uh, Fred Van Vliet sat, uh, and, and, and I expect him to go. If he goes, I'd love to see this matchup between him and uh, Brunson, okay? Speaking of Brunson, um, in the absence of, uh, in the absence of, uh, damn, what's the boy's name? Uh, RJ Barrett, I have been taking his unders on assists. Uh, so I uh, uh um so I wouldn't take his unders on assists in a pace up matchup. This is not the fastest matchup here though, but I wouldn't take his unders and assists on a pace up matchup. However, he did get that last game. RJ Barrett's are back. He might be distributing the ball a little bit more. Uh, but his shot volume was up when uh, without uh, RJ Barrett in the lineup. Uh, can't talk you off the threes for any one of these guys here. Everything else is self so self explanatory when it comes to this team here. So, you know, Julius Randle threes, even R.J. Barrett. I'm not, I can't talk to you, neither one of these guys threes. Even if you want to get in here on some bankroll building type of shit, you could take two two apiece for these guys. They could probably get that. That's a, 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 a minus 108 right there. Uh, even I mean, Barrett will go out there and get you some threes. You know what I'm saying? So you can take a look at it, man. You can take a look at it. You know, be my guest. But uh can't take you talk off any of these numbers here. 
Honorable mention, Precious is true. If he's coming out playing ball like he was uh, yesterday, uh, this is a back-to-back. -back. He's a high-energy guy. He will pop the three. And uh, uh, there's no um, Mitchell Robinson. So, um, you know, he's somebody who could probably stay in front of Randall. Can he guard Randall? Probably not. But like I said, uh, you know, uh, switches and stuff like that, you know, uh, quick feet. Pre Preston Chua does have quick feet along with um, Pascal Siakam. Guys like that can get in front of um, get in front of Julius Randle and cut him out. But Julius Randle is a different type of beast. So I can't talk you off any of Julius Randle's numbers there. Uh, so, yeah, man. But like I said, live, even if you get out of live betting purposes, uh, you could probably check out somebody like Preston Chua. I think he played about 35 minutes last game. Don't quote me on that. Um yeah, but I like the usual suspects. All the usual suspects, they're going to be out there. They are going to be out there. Um, decent matchup. We could probably steal some uh, stats out here to get uh, bankroll builders and shit like that. What do we have? What do we have out? We don't have none of those guys out on prize picks right now. Let's keep it moving. Oklahoma City Thunder, Denver Nuggets. We need to see who's in and out. Gonna love Joker, of course. Now I think he's got nine triple doubles out of his last 15 games. Who doesn't like him? Uh, great matchup for SGA. So, you know, those are two good matchups, man. You know, uh, and can't stress this enough. You know, this uh, point guard matchup uh, when you're dealing with the uh, – um, it's, it's good. It's really good. I mean, I don't know if they'll put anybody – I don't know if they would put um, Jamal Murray on him, though. They might have to put KCP or somebody on him, but – uh, they're giving up the most points. I mean, the third most points uh, to the point guard position. Uh, assist wise, they're giving up the most assists. Don't really look. I don't really look to him for assists. Uh, you know, because he's an he's an unders candidate. Uh, he's he's hit the under like uh, at least five or six, seven games in a row prior to his last game. So, uh, uh, Gillis and Santa is definitely an unders candidate. But yeah, even fancy points, man. So. Uh, that Denver does give up almost 50 fancy points right there to the point guard position. Um, so yeah, that's how you that's you know, I, I can't talk you off any one of those guys. Uh Oklahoma City Thunder, they give up a ton of jo Joker is just Joker. A lot of guys I'm not gonna be targeting against these OKC Thunder team. They play hard, man. They play hard. They've been covering spreads like a mother. They've been covering, 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 man. For my betting people out there, they've been covering. Okay. Uh, Memphis Grizzlies at uh, uh, Phoenix Suns here, 233 and a whole over under in this spot here. Um, Memphis Grizzlies, I remember uh, uh, Phoenix Suns that came in here, beat up on their ass, and then uh, Memphis Grizzlies just got them back the last game, couple games ago. This Memphis Grizzlies, I mean, the Phoenix 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 Suns team got a couple good defenders when it comes to like uh, Okoji. Look at that shit. I'm going, I, I need to fix that. I got to figure out how I'm going to fix that. I'm going back blurry again, but I'm finna get off here. Um, but yeah, um, I hate that shit. But yeah, man, it's a couple good defenders over there. Uh, we look at Josh Okoji, uh, of course. Um, this is a back to back though, so I, you know, uh, uh, I, I'm looking for this team to come on here, come in here, and smack these boys down. Okay, I'm looking for uh, Grizzlies to come in here, and beat them down. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr., especially his fantasy score, should be in play. He's got a good matchup there. Um, John Moran, I think he had 29. I think he had 34 last two meetings, so I can't talk about no numbers from uh, John Moran. I don't think I'll be – I don't know how I'll attack this game. I might just leave this game alone. I am messing with uh, 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 Desmond Bain. Desmond Bain did have a good game against these guys last game, though. They played – I think he had like four – I think he had like 28 points. So uh, that's something that you can look at there. Um but on the Phoenix side, um, we already know. Honorable mention when it comes to the uh, to the Memphis Grizzlies side, especially for my guys who live bet, uh, Tyus Jones. Tyus Jones is, uh, you know, uh, Tyus Jones, he, 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 I've been taking him for threes, you know, here and there, um, especially in the blowout. This is a spot he could probably come in and flourish. Uh, Brandon Clark as well. So, uh, you know, that's, that's something that you could look at there. Uh, but, yeah, uh, like I said, Tyus Jones, his, uh, he's been hitting the three ball lately. Um, he's had multiple threes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten of his 11 games, he's got multiple threes. Uh, 
he'll pop up on the books later on or something like that, or maybe live. Keep an eye out for that situation. He can also pass the ball with some of the best point guards in the league. He can definitely pass the ball, okay? So, uh, you know, watch out for him. Whew. Uh, like I said, on the Phoenix side, uh, this Phoenix team is in the dire need of uh, scoring. Like I said, they got pretty – they got some defenders over there. When it comes to Bridges, um, comes to Bridges or Koji and um, uh, Torrey Craig, they these guys are pretty decent defenders. So don't get it twisted there. They can hold guys like Dylan Brooks at bay. You know what I'm saying? So you know. Um, hmm. Yeah, that, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Lee, um, Lee will you know. Uh, they, they 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 need him for scoring, all right? So, you know, they've been running them out there. Keep an eye out on the news for um, DeAndre Aiden. He's questionable. Chris Paul is questionable. If not, you'll see some Bismarck Biombo campaign. Landry Shanep and uh, Cam Johnson is questionable. So, uh, got to watch out for those guys, all right? Got to watch out for those guys. Going to need injury news. Going to need injury news. Uh, Brooklyn Nets at uh, Golden State Warriors. Not my favorite game I want to target. I ain't going to lie. I like uh, Golden State Warriors to uh, win this game. It's hard for me to pinpoint, you know, what 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 prop I'm going to want to, you know, go go with. Uh, you know, Curry, I like the matchup for Curry. Um, I like the matchup for, I mean, it's, it's too hard to pick one prop if you ask me. I'd better be going out there taking three-pointers three point, three in this game and trying to get out of there, man. Uh, Claxton, he's been great in the... Uh, fantasy category, so you know you can look that. And then last, 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 last but not least, this last Los Angeles Lakers at uh, Portland Trailblazers here, two thirty nine over under in this spot. Um, look, Dame, Dame Dame Lillard is in a great spot here uh, when it comes to uh, this point uh, uh, point, uh, uh, point guards uh, versus the Lakers here. And then this Dame Dillard, uh, Dame Lillard, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I can't talk you off of that. Um, they just don't have a lot of people that can guard him. They're giving up the second most points to the point guard position, okay? Um, they might see some Pat Beverly if Pat Beverly goes. Uh, but, you know, then you got Anthony Simons. However, on the flip side, uh, I've not never been a fan of this uh, backcourt for uh, Portland uh, defensively. So, uh, you know, uh, maybe some Lakers guys can get hot, you know. Uh, center play here. I'm probably going to have to end up going to the double-double for uh, 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 um, Yusuf Nurkic. And then on the flip side, you know, if you want some value and you think because uh, Brian, Thomas Bryan hasn't been uh, hasn't been uh, uh, closing the games. But, you know, this Portland team has given up the most points to the center position, you can, as you can see right here. Um, but, yeah, uh, you know, this Los Angeles Lakers team is right there. And then when it comes to rebounding, uh, you know, teams can go in there and rebound on this Lakers team. They're giving up the fourth most rebound. So uh, the double-double and shit like that is in play. Um LeBron numbers are in play. I'm not scared of the uh, Jerry, Jeremy Grant defense there. So, you know, uh, there you have that. Um, yes, 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 yes. Uh, those, are, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see, let me see something. What do we get a double double for? Uh, what do we get a double double for? Nurkic? 135. I like that number. Uh, so a double double on the win. Hmm. I'm gonna be fucking with the money lines like that, man. I might just stick with that double double, man. Double double and the win, uh, and, man. And, man, so much should be happening in the NBA right now. All right, three balls in play here. Uh, if you've been taking the unders on uh, LeBron James, you've been cashing, man. Uh, uh, he's went under this so insurmountable amount of games. Uh, I think he just hit it last game, but still, he's been going under. Uh, and you can see his juice to the under minus two hundred five. Uh, He's hit this once in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games, okay? Matter of fact, he's hit this number one, two, three times in 15 games. So his ass has been terrible from beyond the arc. Uh, value, guys like Dennis Schroeder, I'll be looking for him. Uh, he's been taking my money lately, but... Uh, I didn't get on him last game. What does he do? He goes out there and have 19, 8, and 8 against Memphis. Like, ugh. But either way it goes, guys, peace, man. Uh, those are plays I'm looking at in some scenarios.